Welcome, I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this week's angel messages. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna invite you in a moment to connect with your angels. We're working with the vibration of being open. Are you open to receive? Are you open to connect with that next step? What's blocking you from being open? These are the messages that are going to come in from your angels right now. It could of course be something else, so we'll see. Place one or both of your hands over your heart just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is move your cursor along in the video, invite your angels to guide you intuitively to an extra message by stopping your cursor just in a particular place where you feel that that message is there. All right. Okay, so we have three cards. They're from the Audacious Action Angels deck. I love these. Let's just shuffle them around a little bit. Let's see. Message one, two, or three. Which one's your message? I feel like it's this one. Okay, the first one is Wild Roses. So you see that red? It's so passionate, isn't it? And I think of those images, those paintings where you have a goddess and then you have these flowers that are opening up. So it's almost as if it's saying, you are opening up, your flower is opening up, your light is opening up, maybe your root chakra is opening up with that, your earth chakra, the connection to the earth. And when you are connected to the earth, of course, you go higher. So as you open that root chakra, as you ground into the earth, you can go so much higher to connect with the divine, with your angels, right? When I look at this, it says wild roses. And there's obviously gonna be some thorns on those roses. So it could be that you're a little bit protecting yourself right now. You're just saying, oh, you can stay away, but maybe somebody else can come in. So you're just being maybe a little bit more mindful than you would be normally about who is coming into your space, who is coming into your environment right now. This is red, that red energy, of course, roots you into the earth. The red is passionate. The red is movement forward. That red is, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this step. I'm gonna connect with this person. I'm gonna say yes. That's what that red does. We see the traffic lights and the red seems to say stop, but actually <laughs> the red is saying, whoa, hang on a minute, check this out. So that red energy is asking you maybe to stop what you're doing and really take a look at what's going on in your life right now. Opening up, what are you open to? Your angels are asking you to open up, to allow yourself to open up and to really go for that opening. Don't hold back anymore. You've still got those thorns, you're still protected. You've got that protective energy right there. So when I look at the red and there's this little bit of orange in the middle, I always feel like there's a connection to Archangel Uriel. And to me, Uriel tends to be a golden vibration, but I feel that that is fiery, isn't it? It just feels like that fiery vibration is coming in right now and you are being fired up to really open some part of your being. And there's almost a sense of claiming your life, claiming your place in your life, claiming your place on this planet. And of course, when you think about it, these roses, they ground themselves into the earth. And you don't know what's gonna happen until all of a sudden there's this beautiful rose right there and it's wild. So it's something adventurous, passionate, exciting that's coming in for you. Ooh, I just love that. <laughs> All right, our second card, let's see which one, which one. Oh, feeling like it's this one. This is Direct Dial Archangel. <laughs> so how are you opening up to that? It's opening up to asking for help. 
That's what that is. Direct dial archangel. I just love that. So you do have a direct dial to your angels, to your guides, to source. It's all the same thing. We are apparently separate on this physical level, but actually we're all one. We're all part of the same divine sacred source. So when you are direct dialing to your archangels, if it's not your thing to connect with the angels necessarily, then just focus on direct dialing with wisdom, with the super consciousness that is everywhere, this amazing light that is everywhere. Connect to that. It doesn't have to be to a specific named being. It can be to all that is. Your third eye is open to all that is. So that direct dial, you might think that it's about listening, but it may be about seeing, maybe about feeling, sensing. You're already connected. So this is about being open to that connection. Be open to the connection with angels, with guides, with loved ones in spirit, to source, to the universe, whatever you want to call it. Be open to that energy. And I feel that this is saying trust that you have the phone number for the universe, that you have that ability to connect. Just trust that. Your angels are there. They're asking you to connect and they're open. They're asking you to open up to connect to them. They're always around you, with you, within you. They're part of you. Maybe that opening up is being open to your own wisdom, the possibility that all that is, is also your wisdom. So what you're truly doing is connecting to yourself and connecting to an expanded aspect of yourself. Be open to that. All right. I feel like there's a little bit more in here as well. I just feel like you're getting a message right now, not necessarily from me, a message from yourself, from your inner wisdom. I feel like there's a message coming through and you need to listen to that. Okay. So our final card is fairy dust. So when you look at that, it's that energy of magic, of wishes, of the sprinkles of something amazing coming into your life. When you think of fairy dust, it's playful, isn't it? But at the same time, it's just that it's almost like a secret desire to have your wishes come true. So your angels are saying the fairies are with you right now. And when the fairies are with you, of course, things might start going missing in your in your space you just put those keys there and then they've gone missing so invite the fairies to bring those keys back again but also invite the fairies that fairy energy and remember that everything is energy we have a title for things we have a name for things but it's really just source energy At the end of the day just like you and i are we are all one we are all one source energy so this fairy dust and inviting the fairies into your life you're inviting the light in you're inviting that light-heartedness in you're inviting nature spirits in you're inviting the energy of nature in and you are also that energy of nature so with fairy dust, your angels are saying, let's sprinkle some magic into your life. Are you open to that? Are you open to the adventure and the mystical energy of the fairies, of the fairy dust, of nature? Are you open to that? And I feel that's what your angels are just guiding you to be aware of right now. Fairy dust. It's magic. It's not magic like something's all of a sudden going to change. But it's magic in the way that you can make that change. And they want to open up. It's almost like a... It's an opening in the fabric of the universe. That's what I'm seeing when I'm saying opening up. It's opening up the fabric of possibility. It's like there's a little network that's there. And it's sparkling right now. And your angels are saying, what do you want to put in there? 
What do you want to put in that sparkly piece? And then we can sprinkle it with fairy dust. What do you most want? What's your heart desiring at this moment? Let's sprinkle that with fairy dust. So your angels are saying there's possibilities that are here. Believe in the magic of that possibility. Let's sprinkle some fairy dust on it, all those different colors, all that light, all that love. I also feel that the message is about watching nature, about what's happening in nature. And know that whatever is happening in nature is supportive of you. So when the weather changes, when the trees sprout their leaves, when the flowers blossom, this is also a reflection of you. Whatever you notice in nature now, that is a message for you from the fairy kingdom, from the angels, and they're asking you to open up to those elemental messages. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. Now do remember to subscribe to the numerologist channel. There's lots of wonderful goodies on there. And of course, leave me a comment below. Let me know if the messages resonated for you. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.